Welcome back to class, everyone. Last time we met, we were doing a little bit of formatting. Right now, we're going to get into some basic formulas. Excel's power comes in the fact that we can use formulas to do all kinds of mathematical calculations for us. These are going to be real basic formulas. We'll start off by doing a total over here on the end. There are numerous ways to do this. I could just type in equals and then put in my cell locations. I can click on them and just add them together like that and hit enter and that would find us a total. Luckily though, Excel is designed to make life a whole lot easier for us so we don't have to do that. What we have is an auto sum button out here and this button has a lot of different formulas if you click on the little drop down. These are functions and they are applied to ranges of cells. So I can come in and simply just use the sum button and hit enter and it will find my total for me. Now if I do this again for the next cell, same thing, it'll add across and everybody's happy. But we want to do this a little quicker than that. Once we have our formula in there, if we select the cell with the formula, in the bottom right hand corner you'll notice this little black square. And when I move my mouse over it I get a plus symbol. That's called a fill handle. And if I click on it and drag down, it copies the formula down. This works because in Excel, the computer doesn't actually read the formula as we read the formula. Mainly when I'm looking at this, and you can see the formula up here on your formula bar, it's saying to add up the cells in the region B4 through E4. What Excel is reading, though, is add up the cells that start four cells to the left all the way through one cell to the left. And since it reads it that way, when I copy it down, it continues to read four cells to the left all the way through one cell to the left, adding them up. We can do the same thing underneath. We'll come down for the total for finance. We'll find a total for that. Hit enter. And then we'll copy that all the way over to the right. Now you may notice that those are bold. And they're bold because we applied the last time we got together, we applied the total style to these cells. We do want to change one thing though. On our totals down here at the bottom, we want to add a currency symbol to this. We already have it set for accounting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, Format Cells, and instead of symbol for none, I'm going to go ahead and add the dollar symbol. Hit OK, and now we're all formatted like we want it. 